uh, for individual thesis, that is, what, what the students need to know to prepare well. Well, you need to take your heart along. A few years ago, I was asked to give a speech at a fund fundraising breakfast for Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts are important to me. And so usually I don't do a lot of preparation. I go there and I figure out who the audience is. But this, this time I really worked on the speech because I wanted to have it right. I wanted there were going to be Girl Scouts and Girl Scout leaders there and I wanted to be really inspirational. So I got to this So I got to this big ballroom at one of the hotels in Seattle, and my hostess led me over to the table where I was going to be seated. And the next table over was the table where the big donors, the guys in suits, were mm -hmm. seated. The centerpiece on each table was one of my murder mysteries. So I was sitting there sipping my coffee. I always sit with my back to the microphone because if I'm going to be speaking, I don't need to see it. So I was sitting there drinking my coffee. Oops. How long ago did that fall down? Well, I didn't see it. Bella, you are a squirmy wormy. Do you want to see where the last thing is the microphone said? I'm sure it's a so I was sitting there drinking my coffee, watching people come into the ballroom. The men in suits sat down, and one of them reached over and picked up my murder mystery, sort of like it maybe had cooties. And he looked at it, he looked at the front, he looked at the back, and then he put it back. I immediately threw out all my preparation. When it was time to speak, I stood up and I said, I would like to share the first thing I learned in Girl Scouting. I have something in my pocket, it belongs across my face. I keep it very close at hand in a most convenient place. I'm sure you couldn't guess it if you guessed a long, long while. So I'll take it out and put it on, it's a great big brownie smile. And of course, by the end of the song, all the Girl Scouts and the leaders in the room were singing along, and the guys in suits had no idea what just hit them. And so I talked about Girl Scouting, but every once in a while, the whole ballroom would break into song because, and so don't forget to bring your heart along. And if somebody makes you mad, use it. We're on a book tour. My partner on this book tour, Bonnie Abney, and I are ladies of a certain age. Mm -hmm. And people feel obliged to tell us we look tired. Well, you know, they're trying to express concern, but if they were keeping up our pace, they'd be tired too. So I tell people, don't tell me you think I look tired. I will not respond well to it. And, and those kinds of interactions with the audience put people at ease. They're not, they're not on a script. I, a lot of people do readings at readings, and I find reading inc entirely boring. People who come to book signings can read. They can read the book on their own. They want to have some kind of interaction with... They want to have some kind of interaction with the person who wrote the book. They want to learn stuff about the book that they mean, <laughs> is it time to come out? Yeah, it's, uh, got a full house here. Uh-oh. No. All right, I'll be out in just a second. They want to learn something about the book that they can't learn from reading the book. Mm -hmm. And now, it's time to end the interview because I have to go and do a talk. Yeah, well. Afterward, I have something else to give you, and I know okay. that you're working on to okay. Los Angeles, too. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. You didn't have any...